Welcome to Ohio State football presented by Ohio Cat. You're looking live at the Horseshoe in Columbus, Ohio. It's the 2004 opener, Conference USA against the Big Ten, as the Bearcats of Cincinnati invade the Horseshoe for the chance to knock off the Buckeyes. It's Carl Jones and Mike Daniels, both deep now. It's uh, Jones at the goal line as Nugent gets ready to kick off this 2004 season. Mike Nugent, is, if he's not the best, he's certainly one of the best kickers in college football. Look for this kick to go deep in the end zone. And the season's underway. It's going to be Jones deep in the end zone. Wisely decides to take a knee. And here is the senior, Gino Gadouli, 6'3", 225-pound senior from Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Twin receivers to the top of your screen. Play action, Gadouli. Short side of the field. And he overshoots his man, the big tight end. That's Doug Jones. Let's take a look at our starting lineups brought to you by Ohio Cats. You look at the Bearcats there. Richard Hall. The running back, he started his career after being the AAA player of the year. He started with the Buckeyes before transferring down to Cincinnati. And up front, Kyle Takovitz. He's from Olin Tenji. Steve Eastlake is from nearby Bishop Watterson High School. So these two guys, Takovitz, on the Rem Remington list. Second and 10, ball still resting at the 20-yard line for the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Single back is Richard Hall. George Murray in motion. He gives it to Hall. Hits the right side. Not much running room. He's over the 20. Up to the 23. Gain of three on the play. Up front uh, for the Buckeyes, of course. Gone. Will Smith. Darian Scott. Tim Anderson. Simon Frazier, though. He's the mainstay. He had a great sophomore year. Would like to improve on his junior season. And we talked about A.J. Hawk. And, Coach, how about Mike DeAndrea? He was the number one linebacker in high school coming in. This is his first start. First start here. He's been here two years. He is, he, he's been here a long time. He's a big, strong football player. He's healthy for the first time, Mike. And one thing about Mike DeAndrea, he can really run. Of course, Dustin Fox, three-year starter. Actually, you could probably call him the fourth-year starter. Came here from Canton as a safety. Moved to the corner as a freshman. He's been there ever since. Big third down play. And a little toss in the middle. It's Hall coming out of the backfield. He's up to the 25. Theo Holmes, the deep man, at the Buckeye 35. He slices this one, and it stays in bounds. Gets a Cincinnati Buckeye bounce, and it's down at about the 37-yard line. And here he is, Coach Justin Zwick. Three years ago, this guy was one of the most highly acclaimed high school quarterbacks ever to come out of high school, especially in the Buckeye State. Schnitker in motion as the H-back now. Hamby at tight end. Lydell Ross in the backfield. Justin Zwick. Some movement of the feet there. Prior to the snap. Ball start. Offense. Number four. Five-yard pass. We talked about Lydell Ross expecting a big year, but how about Santonio Holmes exploded onto the scene as a freshman? He's their go-to guy right now. And up front, Nick Mangold. Mangold, he is the real deal. Two returning starters, Sims and Mangold. But Mangold expected to be on that Remington watch list and could walk away with that award at the end of the season. So at this first pass of the season, Santonio Holmes up near the 40, across the 40, finally brought down shy. If you look at that front, 11 starters, nine are seniors. Trent Cole and Andre Frazier, 50-50, probably two of the more experienced and talented defensive ends. All three of these linebackers already have their degrees, so you know they're experienced. Enzo with 137 tackles last year for the Bearcats in the secondary. Tavin Hawley runs a 4-3. He had six INTs last year. That tied the single-season record for the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Second down three, Lionel Ross. First carry of the 2004 season. Not much running room, although he came on strong towards the end of the season. 585 yards, last six games, five touchdowns. Schnitger still in motion. Zwick wants to put it up. Here's the pressure, and it's complete to Ross, but he is going nowhere. Making the stop, Mike Wright and Core all have their degree. Carl Jones back to receive the Kyle Toronto punt. That's a good one. Jones going back, hits at the two, goes in the end zone, and again, the Bearcats will start at the 20 yard. Gino Gadula, the second possession of the afternoon, not much success on the first. Doug Jones drops back in the backfield, but Gadula wants to put it up, rolling to his right, finds the man, and it's caught. George Murray, the second, the senior, scoreless game from Columbus. High formation, they give it to the first back, it's the big guy, the tight end, Doug Jones, a redshirt freshman. John Ramble pulling in that long bomb. Gadouli keeps the ball. 
There's a third and one call. He's up over the 30-yard line, has the first down, which will be the first of the ball game. Third third of the ball. Yeah, third of the game, then you can see. Shotgun formation to keep it on the ground, and it's Richard Hall up over the 35-yard line. <laughs> and that's Hall still in the backfield at the 30. Second and three. Now keep it on the ground, hits the right side, got some running room, first down over the 40. A host of Scarlet jerseys. He said his receivers were a lot better two years ago. They struggled with the receiving part. The Dooley again on the quarterback sneak. And his 2,700 last year. And his 14 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. The give goes left side, nowhere to go. And of course, A.J. Hawk. Shotgun formation again for the Bearcats. The Dooley from his 36 swings it out the hall. And he doesn't have too much real estate. Another third down, third and six, shotgun formation for the dueler. Buckeyes coming with the four-man rush. Here comes Hawk, and it's batted down. That's number 75, Simon Frazier. There's the great football players, the athleticism, but they don't, they don't talk about the fact that some of these kids are pretty nicked up. It's Antonio Holmes lets it hit at the five, and Antoine Horton tried to get it at the one, but more pressure on Jim Trussell today, I promise you, than there is on Mark D'Antonio. Zwick with the pitch. It's Lytle Ross trying to sweep the left side. A lot of Bearcats. Gain of a couple of it's Antonio Holmes. Split to the top of your screen. Zwick looks right, comes back left, and Roy Hall had his right hand on the football. They're third-year sophomores. I can't envision a freshman coming in and playing in front of 104,000. This one's complete over the 30. It's Van Childress. He's, like you said, both of these quarterbacks are to play today, but Justin Zwick and Troy Smith, both of them have been here a couple of years. Number seven, Ted Ginn Jr. is on the field, but this is Antonio Holmes, and he's wrestled down shy of the 40-yard line. 32 catches last year, averaged 17 with seven touchdowns, which was tied with Michael Jenkins for the lead. Here's Lydell Ross looking for his hole, but it closed uh, mighty quickly as uh, Jamar Enzor, the small coming out of the back. I like that call. Coach, that's the first penalty against the Bearcats with a minute 20 to go on the first 15 minutes of play. Shotgun formation for Gadouli. Now it's first and 20. Now Gadouli standing outside the 45-yard line. Inside handoff. They fake it to, and it's complete at the 20-yard line. Number 22, Derek Ross, the 5'10", 191-pound junior. Ball resting inside the 15-yard line now. Twin receivers to the top of your screen. Hannibal Thomas and George Murray. They go the other way. Hall puts his shoulder down. He's racked up. Big Doug Jones slips back into the backfield in front of Richard Hall. Second and 11. First man through is Jones. He powers his way inside the 10. Well, we played 15 minutes of football. We're coming back to the other side of the football field. We're scoreless now after one. A.J. Lucius in the ball game. Gadouli wants to throw it. Had his man open at the five, and he overshoots him. That's Richard Hall coming. Mark D'Antonio didn't like the kicking game after spring practice, so they went to California and bought in a junior college kicker here from El Camino Junior College. Kevin Lovell. This will be a 27-yard field goal if he makes it. Here's the kick. It's up. And it's good. The Bearcats draw first blood here in the horseshoe in the 2004 opener. So Kevin Lovell, the junior college transfer, puts the first points on the board. Bearcats on top of the Buckeyes by three. He's 22 yards in a minute 32. It's Antonio Holmes back to receive the Lovell kick. This is Maurice Hall, however, inside the five-yard line. He's got, got the lane up over the 25, 30, 35, 40, and finally driven out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Scouting report on Troy Smith, Mike, is he's more of a runner than he is a thrower. It's going to be interesting to see if they let him run the quarterback draws and the option plays. Troy Smith, third-year sophomore out of Cleveland. Out of the shotgun, he's going to throw it right away, and this one's batted down. The Buckeyes prevailed 34-20 to 20 that day. Two years ago, Bearcats had over 490 yards. Smith keeps it over the 45. Narduzzi, of course, uh, with Miami of Ohio, 13 and one football team last year. Here comes some pressure. Smith leaves the pocket, makes a couple of people miss. He's inside the 50-yard line, finally driven hard out of bounds. I think we're dead even. Gain of nine that time. Fourth and one for the Buckeyes at the Cincinnati 45-yard line. White L. Ross tries to hit the outside. Another great defensive play. 
Bearcats with twin receivers to the top of the screen. They keep it down on the ground. Unbalanced line. He should run to the top of your screen. Big guy. Doug Jones gets another call. Same set, Mike. Offense, uh, unbalanced line to the top of your screen. Play action pass. On third down, it's complete, and it's good for the first down. Another first down for the Bearcats. Eye formation. The dueling. Play action. Going upstairs, looking for Murray. And Murray stopped, came back for the football. He Brother Derek played at Penn State before going to the NFL. This one's incomplete, almost picked off. And a better view of what's happening from upstairs, but Mark Schneider said he felt like he wouldn't be down there with the troops, down on the field. The duel. DeAndre getting chased. It falls incomplete at the 30-yard line. Dustin Fox. 10. He'll be punting just inside the 50. San Antonio Holmes doesn't expect to run it back. And well, he gets this one. Not sure if he wanted that. He kicked it out of the end zone. He's really looking for big things. Ross went over 100 yards as a 17-year-old against Indiana two years back. Here's Ross. Finding some running room. He's at the midfield strike. 40, 30, 25, 20, 15. Knocked out of bounds. That's what they're expecting from Lydell Ross in 2002. And Maurice Perrette was dinged up. High formation. Maurice Hall gets the call. Looks for his hold. He's down to the 10-yard line. This time from the shotgun formation. In the red zone. Fumble the snap and shotgun. And this one falls incomplete. They're probably lucky it didn't go down as an INT. Running back in a third down situation. Well, Lydell a little bit winded after that 68-yard run. Swift throws it up for grabs. Childress is there. He's knocked out of bounds incomplete. Again, Andre Frazier put Mike Nugent. This one from 27 yards. Mr. Automatic, 48 out of 61 in his career here at Ohio State. He's four for five from this distance last year, and this one is up, and it's good. So Mike Nugent had 120 points as a Buckeye two years ago, 86 last year, gets his first three of the season, and it knocks the score at three apiece with 10-15 to go in the second quarter. But I talk to him once in a while. I just tell him that, you know, you're the leader and you got to get it going. Mike DeAndre is doing a good job. Anthony Schlegel, Bobby Carpenter, you're all good, solid players. You're into coaching now. Thanks, Anthony. It's always good to see Chris Spielman. Boy, I had the pleasure of watching him play in 1987. It was one heck of a football player. I'll tell you, this guy's not too bad either. Doug, again, I'm not sure if you'd like to hit a 282-pounder like that. Third and seven now for Cincinnati. Bobby Carpenter putting on the pressure, and it's incomplete. Then kicking inside is 10. Santonio San Holmes waiting at the 35-yard line. Very dangerous return guy here, Santonio San Holmes. Good kick. Bearcat bounce goes out of bounds. Both guys keep it on the ground. Ross, and he is met. Just got over the line of scrimmage. What has a man, Hamby, he's open at the 45. In Bearcat territory, Hamby, known as a blocking tight end, but had receptions in all but two games last year. Ted, Ted Ginn down, in, down here at the bottom trying to get the ball deep to him. And that's Ginn, but thrown out of bounds. Hurdles. You see the numbers on Justin Zwick. The third-year sophomore making his first start as a Buckeye. They keep it on the ground. This is Ross. Penalty flag down. Cincinnati Fumble. Cincinnati offside. And this one will come back to the Buckeyes, but it's recovered until we hear that call. Outside. Defense. So now the Buckeyes face a second and five. Again in motion. Bottom of your screen. Lydell Ross in the backfield for Ohio State. Ross gets the call. Cuts it back. Right into the teeth of that linebacking. Brandon Schnitker at the fullback spot. Give us to Maurice Hall. He's tripped up at about the 35-yard line. Van Childress in motion. Play action. Swick wants to come back to the bottom. And it's Monahan, the four-year starter at safety. 13 solo tackles for moving into the top 10 of the all-time Cincinnati list. Swick. Put it up, looking over for Roy Hall, and he's out of bounds. Richard sophomore. Here comes what we call a zone blitz again. They're bringing four people here from one side. Four people in the high state can block. 52-yard attempt by Mike Nugent. His long of 53 last year. 
in his career. Two for two from 50 or longer. Fifty two wide to the right had the distance not the accuracy see the numbers the Buckeyes trying to get that running game going. Bearcats keep it on the ground. Earlier we talked about the fact that when he was at Ohio State sitting out that first season this one's almost picked off by A.J. Hall. The Dooley comes back the other way and he missed his receiver return game. Irvin got off the 55 yarder last time. This one's a line drive into the end zone for a touchback in Columbus. Swick at the controls for the Buckeyes. Here's the kid. It looked like look at his helmet. As the story says, 436 and counting. Zwick goes back. Another wobbly pass to Handy. He stopped shy of the 40 yard line. All the Heisman's running backs to Eddie George, Janowitz, Griffin, Hopalong Cassidy. Pittman again. Let's not forget Les Horvath. Went to high school right across the street from Cincinnati at Hughes High School. Now he's in his third year starting at seven sacks last year. This one's complete for Childress. Zwick really threaded the needle that time. Bam Childress, he's got some wheels. He's down to the 35-yard line. A 6'2", 225 pounder, and that's a mismatch in the open field. Childress, Mr. Football in the Buckeye State in 1999. Fumble snap. So Justin Zwick, who threw a 46-yard touchdown pass, trips at the bottom of your screen. Swick out of the shotgun. Hamby, the big tight end, his third catch. He's down inside the 20-yard line. He said, there's no way I could fill it. Of course, Moeller High School right in Cincinnati. Swick looking to his left. He has a man. It's the freshman, Ted Ginn, inside the five. Are they going to call it incomplete? Of ESPN Plus or ESPN or ABC. Weber's doing the football game. Joe Marchman, a good friend of yours, an official for 34 years in the Big Ten. Up and I would want to be in his shoes because he doesn't have a lot of time to make that decision. Big play. We've got man coverage at the top of your screen up there. Hamby. Touchdown, Ohio State. Ryan Hamby, his fourth catch, his first touchdown this year. Fifth as a Buckeye. The same formation they lined up in. Cincinnati's defense is confused. Left the big tight end wide open. They go after playing with Ben Hartsock for a couple of years. Nugent. A little stutter step, but the ball is placed and kicked, and the kick is good. So the Buckeyes move 80 yards on the drive by a touchdown. Jones and Daniels, the deep man. Jones, for the third time, gets it. This time a little bit closer. He's going to run it out. He's at the 15, 20 over the 20. Finally, good out of bounds. So Nate Saller, the starting free safety on the kickoff team, makes the stop, and this one's a complete. And then it falls incomplete. Looked extremely hard here this past year. 116 tackles at Air Force's last year. No running room for the Bearcats there against this Buckeye front. The Dooley over his last seven now facing the third and ten. It looks like the Buckeyes might be coming on the corner. Inside handoff. Play it safe. That's Richard Hall. At about the 22-yard line wrapped up. Michael Jenkins, first-round draft choice. Now, there's so much talent there that uh, the screen's almost not big enough to get the graphic. That's a sixth punt by Chet Irvin here this afternoon. San Antonio home. He's got to throw the football. Quarterback draw. Well, he called that one. Humble. He coughed up the football. Good thing the Buckeye was there to fall on it at the 45-yard line. Final seconds expire. And the Buckeyes with one touchdown. They take a 10-3 lead into the locker room. Over the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Bearcats struck first, and then the Buckeyes came back to tie the game on a 27-yard field goal before Hamby on the 17-yard touchdown. So we're at halftime. Over 104,000 people at the Horseshoe on this Saturday in just 10 of the second quarter. Kevin Lovell with the kickoff, and San Antonio Holmes deep in the end zone. He'll take the knee. So the Buckeyes won the toss. They deferred, kicked off to start the game. They get the football to open up the second half, and Zwick wants to come out firing. San Antonio Holmes, 30, inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line. Finally driven down by Gavin Hollow. Gain of 53 for the Buckeyes. That's Ross, who had 82 yards in the first half. They're fresh coming out of camp. That first game, the adrenaline, the heat, 
Right now they're down 10 to 3, and the Buckeyes have the ball. And Zwick wants to go upstairs, and once again, this time it's going to be picked off. Again, it's a wounded duck. It's hard to believe this young man threw for over 10,000 yards. You made him from the five yard line, 95 yards away. Richard Hall barely gets over the five. Marcus Green makes Snyder taking over for Mark Antonio as well. But right down his Buckeyes have the Bearcats backed up. Gaduli, little drop play. It's Hall again at the seven yard line. Mike, third and eight now. Gaduli, shotgun. Pump fake, finds his man, should be the first down. And the football is caught. Hall, and then immediately, Quinn Pitcock making initial contact along with Bobby Carpenter. Second and 10. Bearcats out of the eye again. This time it's complete to George Murray up over the 30 yard line to up the 34. As it Pat Narduzzi, the defensive coordinator, who was at Miami. Nice play action, pitch to the outside. Over the 40-yard line, Richard Hall. One time, Buckeye, now Bearcats. The big guy inside, it's Doug Jones. It's the Bearcats trailing by a touchdown, face the third and two. The duel is going to swing it out to the big guy. Jones, he had it and dropped the football. That's a pass. Low kick, it's a spiral. Antonio thought about it for a second, hits at the four, goes into the end zone, so the Buckeyes will start. Bearcat defense digging in, hanging tough. The offense uh, doesn't produce the whole lot. Oh, Monahan come up. He's 100%. Not many people talking about him. He says uh, that's just fine with him because uh, he can shock a few people. This one's going to be picked off again. Monahan, the four-year starter at safety, brings it back to the 35-yard line. Very quiet, 104,000 plus here in Columbus. Gino Gaduli and company with the ball on the 35-yard line. They're going up top, like Coach says, and this one's complete to Hannibal Thomas, the 6'3 senior. On Hall cuts back inside, close to the five, stopped at the six-yard line. Second and four for Cincinnati. The goalie from the shotgun. Penalty flags. Right. Yeah. Delay a game on the offense. Number eight. Yard penalty from the previous spot. Still second down. It's like a kicker, I guess. Uh, high formation for the goalie now. Second and nine. With a delayed handoff to Richard Hall. He's driven back. Forward progress puts him inside the 10 yard line. Bearcats. Need some offense now. Thomas in motion. Top of your screen. From the gun. Or pump fake. Goes in the end zone. It's batted away. Tyler Everts, the 5'11 junior. The ball will be spotted on the 15. A 25-yard kick by Kevin Lovell. The junior college transfer from El Camino. And he's two for two as far as field goals. And the Bearcats put another three on the board. So with 6.16 to go in the third quarter from Columbus, Ohio, the Buckeyes holding on to the four-point lead over Cincinnati, 10-6. Is back, but this is Maurice Hall with the catch. He's up over the 25-30. Here goes Hall over the 40-yard line, his second strong run back. Hall's been the intended receiver at least three times, but the ball's been thrown ahead or behind him. Lydell Ross. He would love to crack the century mark. Lydell Ross, 11 carries, 85 yards now for the Buckeyes. Zwick wants to put it up. Straight drop, has his man over the middle. Van Childress bounces off the would-be tackler, cuts to the outside, and Childress knocked out of bounds shy of the 35-yard line. And, and, and show the fans what he can do. Good bloodlines, cousin of Champ Bailey, Van Childress. Here's Ross getting closer to that 100-yard mark inside the 20-yard line, and that brings the... 12 carries, 103 yards now for Ross. This time, Maurice Hall gets the call. Not much running room. Close to the 15-yard line. This is what they scored on with Handy, the 17-yard touchdown before the half. Swick from the gun. Looking for Handy. Uh, he had his hands on the football. Same formation again, the top of your screen. Swick from the 25. He'll run this one. Down to about the 11-yard line. Face mask penalty. Well played. Six penalties in the ball game, but the ball now on the 
five yard line just shy of the five Swift dropped the football he stumbled and he's outside the 15 yard line again four wide receivers. Second 15 going upstairs and it's incomplete penalty flag. But I disagree with that call. Swick, Hall, tries to keep his feet down to the two yard line. Ball pops up but after the whistle. That's Dan White Jr. in front of him. Ross gets the call. He's in for the touchdown. And the Buckeyes have their second score of the day. You take advantage of those breaks, uh, the, the good teams do. Sign for the kick. And he splits the uprights right down the middle of the freeway. And the Buckeyes open up a 17 to 6 lead of kick returners, dying for a run back. Three have been in the end zone. This one will be taken back. It'll be Mike Daniels, 5'7, 185 pounder. Two yards deep in the end zone over the 10, and maybe. He should have put down his knee. You put that call behind you and play football. You got to make something happen offensively. Gadouli has a man over the middle, and it's complete. Gino Gadouli. They say he never gets too high, never gets too low. He can complete 10 straight or throw 10 straight incompletions, and he stays the same emotionally. Not much running room there. Ran right into Simon Frazier initially. D.J. Underwood, number two in as a cornerback. Saw those passing yards, 111. They averaged about 228 last year. Will him. Third down, third and eight. Swings it out to Richard Hall. He's over the 30. Not much running room after that. Chris, we're heading for the fourth quarter. Lydell Ross, 10 touchdowns last year, picks up his first of the 2004 season. And this will open up some breathing room for Jim Trestle and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. They take a 17-6 lead into quarter number four. Four. Enzor carrying the ball, 46. 46, that middle linebacker. Hey, here's a picture of the fake punt. The snap goes to the up back. 46 there, a good trap blocking inside. Ohio State misses a tackle. Good running by Enzor there for the first down. Man in motion, Gadouli swings it right out. It's, it's uh, complete to Mike Daniels, cuts it back inside. He's inside the 45. Ball is... Ball start. Offense, number 15. Five-yard penalty. Go first down. Because his teammates have to respect that. There's another whistle right after the snap. And Frazier saying snap. It's... Ball start. And Simon 85. was right. Goes against uh, the Bearcats. Put... First and 20 now, Gadouli under center this time. Looks like A.J. Hawk showing blitz on top of your screen. Hall almost, that was Bobby Carpenter. Check that, top of your screen. High formation. Murray in motion this time. Heavy rush, Gadouli puts it up, and he just throws it away. Third and 17, 4 of 14 on the day for Gadouli and company. Swings it out. Good pursuit that time by Mike D'Andrea. Andrea, the number one linebacker coming out of high school, getting his first start today. And San Antonio Holmes finally gets the catch it, but he calls the fair catch at the 15-yard line. Back in at quarterback for Ohio State. He played one series in the first half. And off goes to Lytle Ross. Big hole on the left side. He's up near the 25-yard line. I really liked what Smith said when he lost the starting quarterback or when Zwick was uh, named the starter. Smith said, I'm not going to cause any trouble. I'll be a team guy. And he said, now's the time to back up what I've been talking about. Just to keep my head on straight, keep my mouth shut, go out and play some good football. Question, are they tiring at this juncture? 10.40 to go in the ball game. Hand off. Ross again. Has some running room. Monahan wrestles him down shy of the 40-yard line. Buckeyes in the eye formation now. Schnitger in front of Lydell Ross. Ross gets the call. He's up over the 40-yard line. Smith keeps it on the third and one. First and ten out of the eye again. Smith at quarterback, and again, it's Ross with the call. He's up over the 45, still on his feet, inside Bearcat territory. Milk that clock, but I'd like to see uh, him step back and throw the football. 
That's a, you got a, a young running back in there now. Who could stay in the pocket and throw the football? But that kind of tied to Troy Smith's hands, so to speak, as far as what he can do, because he is such a, an elusive runner. There's Pittman with the football, 40. Might be a touchdown. 30, yep. pushed out of bounds. Game-saving tackle that time, but on the money. San Antonio Holmes just inside the pylon. On that replay, was one, one, two. Looked like he got them both in. No, I think it's a good call. I was saying Bill was probably sitting there ready to hit the button after that right. replay. Right. Again, keep in mind that the technical advisor for the instant replay. Nice job here on the fourth floor. On the ground hall, you can own and open. Complete the easy does. It's knocked over. Dustin Fox doing a great job. Of Keep the do the outside. Trying to draw the Buckeyes offside of the play. Buckeyes six up front in the box. The Dooley rolling out, batted down by Simon Frazier. And the Buckeyes take the field just inside Cincinnati territory now. They'll run out the clock. Antonio Pittman is hit and he's hit hard at the line of scrimmage. The motion picture radio. Probably new radio. Okay, Pittman's down down to the outside. He is history or will he? Now they've got the angle. Just shy of the 10-yard line is Pittman. He <laughs> found freshman out of Akron. Maurice Hall. Hits the left side down to the 10-yard line. Second and eight for Troy Smith from the 15-yard line. He's going to run that one. Nope. Nowhere to go. Good job defensively. Anthony Gonzalez on the field now. Smith on the top of the screen. That's Ted Ginn. He's again with the football. Gets it at the 10, still on his feet down near the six-yard line before he's rushed out. Owner of 12 school records here at Ohio State. This one, a young man I want to point out that does a great job for him is Kyle Andrews, he's a center. Watch this ball get back here. He does a great job snapping on the next points and field goals and then the deep punt. This one from 23. Splits the uprights, and the Buckeyes add three more on the board to take a 27-6 lead. Inside two minutes here this afternoon. Here's the one Buckeye fans might be talking about. San Antonio Holmes just getting inside the pylon, but it was Troy Smith's first touchdown pass as a college quarterback. I don't think there's, there's, too a, early to I don't think there's a quarterback controversy. I think Justin's a little bit a good job, but I think there's room to play both quarterbacks. I'm sure they'll both play against him right. next week uh, when they play Marshall. All right, so we're not going to have a Joe Jermaine Stanley Jackson thing going on here. Huh? That's Mike Daniels over the 20-yard line. Dooley goes to work from the 25, overshoots his man. A lot of uh, impressive resumes as far as opening day. The last time uh, they lost was to over Overland, wasn't it? No, no, no. I mean, uh, as far as the home opening, they beat them 19-0 in 1978. What I meant to say is the first in-state school. Overland was the last in-state school to beat the Buckeyes. That was way back in the 1800s. She comes in here next Saturday afternoon. Had it and dropped it. Get that offense going. Of course, they have a freshman by the name of Todd Beckman at quarterback. I would think they'd want to redshirt him. They say he's very talented. I don't play much in his first ball game. The first couple ball games here. And, uh, and Ross keeps playing like he's playing. He'd probably take a redshirt. Now. Final 10 seconds of the season opener for both schools. Troy Smith gets his first touchdown. Justin Zwick throws for 213. Jim Tressel and Mark D'Antonio. The customary handshake. After eight years coaching together, now facing one another. The Buckeyes opening up a year with the 2004 season with a 27 to 6 victory. Look, 27 to 6. That's our final score. When we come back to the horseshoe, we'll wrap things up. Season opener 2004.